Hello children, how are you? I extend all of you a warm welcome to Karim's Biology. Children, as you are new to this channel, I suggest you to regularly come back to this channel and watch the lessons which are going to be very useful to you. Children, in this session, I am going to start first lesson and we are going to learn about food ingredients and this session is going to be part 1 and I will also will be posting a couple of other videos in the series of part 2, part 3, part 4 like that. So I hope that you will regularly follow my videos so that you can gain some knowledge. Okay children, let us start the session. Dear children, if someone asks you what is your favorite food item, what will be your answer? You know different people give different types of answers. Some people say that dosa is their favorite food item. And some people say that their favorite item is uh, samosa. And some people say they like chapati. Some people say they like laddu which is sweet. And some people say that they love to eat ice creams. Some of you may also say that you may like paisam or idli. Right children? Okay children. And uh, if someone asks you about the components, sources of the food item and how they are cooked and what are the ingredients used in the food item that you like. Can you answer that? So this will be your situation after being asked with that question. Because some of you may know the answers to this. What are the components, sources of the food and how the cooked food is cooked. But most of you may not know the components, sources and how the food is being cooked, right? So don't worry. In this lesson, we are going to learn completely about what are the ingredients used in the food items, what's the meaning of ingredient and uh, how, what are the different methods of cooking the food items. And we also uh, discuss about what are the different ways of storing food items. Then, you know, children, you have been studying since your primary classes that food is required for us to get energy, growth and to be healthy, right? So it is required to get energy. You know, there are components. There are five components present in the food that you eat. What are they? Carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals. So when you eat food item, you are going to get all these five different types of nutrients. You knew already that carbohydrates and fats are, what is the name given to the carbohydrates and fats? Basing on the work they perform in our body. Yes, you are right if you said they are useful for us to get energy. That's the reason why they are called energy giving foods. And what about the other one? Proteins. They are useful for the bodybuilding and other nutrients such as minerals and vitamins. They are useful to you to protect your body against the diseases. Right? And uh, every day we eat different types of food items from morning to night. Since morning you wake up, you start your day with breakfast and you end your day with the supper. Right? Since morning to evening you may be eating different varieties of food items. Okay? And in Andhra Pradesh we eat different types of food items daily but some food items like rice, dal and vegetables they are common in the daily menu in large parts of Andhra Pradesh. You know children our staple food is rice, dal and we also cook and eat various other types of vegetables. And this is the common menu in most parts of Andhra Pradesh. Right? Not only this but on special occasion we eat large variety of other food items also. Like on your birthday, your mom may be making a delicious cake. Or when you visit your cousin's birthday party, there your aunt may be cooking a special dish for you. Right? Like that on special occasions, we eat a large variety of food items which may not belong to Andhra Pradesh, which belong to other uh, states also. Right? And children, have you ever observed how your mom cooks food? And did you ever visit the kitchen and find out what your mom was doing in the kitchen? Your mom really was working very hard in the kitchen in order to make you delicious food. Is it not children? And you know children, your mom, she was really working very hard in the kitchen. And is it not your duty sometimes to go into kitchen and help your mom? And I know that you are good boys and good girls and I think that you are already helping your mom in the kitchen. And if you have not yet started to help your mom, I think that from today onwards you will definitely help your mom in kitchen because you know children, I may be your teacher, but for this lesson, the best teacher for you is your mom. Because she had a lot of experience in cooking and she knew every ingredient that can be used in preparing different types of food items. So I hope that you can visit the kitchen and you can help your mom. At the same time, you can also learn something about this lesson from your mom also. Your mom uses different ingredients while she is cooking food. For example, your mom may be using rice, oil, salt, jeera, chopped tomato, potatoes, onions, spices, dry fruits, sugar, water, etc. Like that, we can 
say the list of so many ingredients that are being used in preparing different varieties of dishes these materials that your mom uses while cooking food are called ingredients so children these are called ingredients okay these are the materials that your mom uses while cooking food so these are called ingredients so what are food ingredients to make different types of food items we need different materials and you see this okay while you are preparing the food we add you know jeera and we add chilli we add biryani leaves oil will be used salt will be used you know children so like that your mom may also be using different types of ingredients and you just go visit your kitchen and find out what are the different ingredients that your mom uses while cooking at the same time don't forget to help your mom children now these materials which are required to prepare food are known as ingredients children this is the definition of ingredient that you must know so what are ingredients the materials which are required to prepare food you know when your mom cooks food it becomes very tasty do you know what is making the food tasty of course it is your mom's hand but at the same time children your mom is making this because she is using these ingredients while preparing the food don't worry we will be discussing about all these ingredients how we get ingredients from where we get ingredients everything we will be discussing in this lesson so tell me children what are ingredients the materials which are required to prepare food what are they the materials which are required to prepare food are known as ingredients you have to learn the definition of this ingredient the materials which are required to prepare food are known as ingredients okay so let's move on but children do you know that every food item whether it may be the food that is prepared at your home or the packed food items that you get from the market each and every food item will be prepared only by using ingredients that is why if you clearly search the food items that you purchase from the market especially uh, the packaged food items like biscuits these potato chips when you purchase these food items from the market you would have observed that the ingredients which are used in this type of packed food items will be definitely printed on the packet say for example you see this is lace packet which you love to eat and on this packet definitely the ingredients will be printed somewhere can you just observe and tell me where the list of ingredients is printed on this packet yes this is where can you see children ingredients what are the ingredients used here so what are the ingredients that are used while preparing these potato chips what are they tell me children potatoes are used you can see here potatoes right it is directly printed on the wrapper itself potatoes and which you cannot see is vegetable oil you know your mom also uses vegetable oil while she is preparing curries right so what vegetable oil is used here sunflower oil or canola oil is are used and of course salt will be sprinkled on that right so these are the ingredients which are used while preparing this lace packet and not only on this potato chips even on the other packaged food items also each and every packaged food item definitely have a list of ingredients that are used to prepare that food item for instance let us see this biscuit packets so this is madhusri ragi day biscuits and can you tell me where the ingredients are printed on this pap on this wrapper yes so this is the information about manufacture date and uh, expiry date this is the information about the company which has manufactured these biscuits and this is the company's name and this is the nutritional information means you can find out how many grams of proteins are there how many sugars grams of sugar uh, and then how much fats and are there and how much energy you are going to get by eating these biscuits how much carbohydrates are there everything will be printed here but you can see this part right so this is where you can see ingredients that are printed so what are the ingredients used while preparing this food item ragi flour maida sugar almond nutmeg ghee liquid glucose skimmed milk powder elaichi permitted class 2 preservatives and li and leavening agents so about preservatives i will tell you in the coming in the coming sessions we will definitely uh, discuss what is preservation and what are preservatives okay so that's about the ingredients that are used in this uh, preparation of in this biscuit packets and what about other the biscuit that you love the most which is good day and can you tell me where the ingredients are printed so this is uh, the company's name logo of the company this is about the price and manufacturing date this is again the name of company name of the biscuit packet okay and uh, the specialization of the biscuit packet is chocolate you can see chocolate chips here right and uh, there is one more information which you can hardly see uh, i think it is the information regarding the nutritional quantity not about ingredients okay and finally can you see here yes 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 this is the place 
you can find the ingredients here what are ingredients used while preparing this biscuit packets wheat flour chocolate chips edible vegetable oil raising agents etc okay children so that's about the ingredients i hope that you understood the meaning of ingredients okay so dear children next time when you purchase the packaged food item i hope that you will definitely observe for the ingredients and also the nutritional information okay children so that's all for today in my coming session i will be explaining about what are the sources of ingredients and what are the different types of ingredients basing on the source and we will also be discussing about how the food is prepared by various methods okay children but don't forget i told you already just go to kitchen help your mom at the same time learn about all these ingredients and something about this lesson from your mom also i hope that you will do it as you are good boys and girls thank you children i will meet you in my next session